Good morning and bienvenue, my fond fair rouge raiders. This is your humble narrator, Diomedes Rouge, here to bring you, well, another something special. Another fun little idea out of the inner machinations of my brain pad. This will be... What if Izuku Midoriya, also known as Deku, was trained by Kamen Rider Wing Knight? Oh yes. <laughs> now, this story all begins when, well, Izuku was quite young. Back when he found out, well, he didn't have a quirk. When he was heartbroken that he couldn't be a hero. Where he was stunted somewhat. Where he started being bullied by Kotsky. He was almost... <laughs> in the mood to give up completely. He was almost ready just to call it quits. To just... say they're right. I can't be a hero like this. I'm just a nobody. I'm just... me. However... As he was saying this, he was next to a mirror. And a certain man on the other side of that mirror heard this and felt something trigger. Felt a certain device pull towards him. As he looked through the other side, he said, Really? Him? He's just a kid. But the device kept pulling and pulling. And eventually, he took a big sigh. <sighs> Very well. And out from the other side of that mirror, in the little alley Deku was hiding in, appeared a man jumping from the void, seemingly at least, right in front of him, clad in dark blue and black armor with silver trimming. What are you, who are you, what do you want? Are you going to hurt me? No, kid. I'm not here to hurt you. You've been chosen by fate. What? <sighs> Let's just put it this way. With a little bit of shine and a little bit of polish, if you'd let me, I can show you the true potential you really have. I have no potential. I'm corkless. Corkless? What's a quirk? What's a quirk, mister? It's power. 80% of the people in this world are born with it. And... Ah. <laughs> you don't need any gimmick like that. Gimmick? No, you don't. But it's not a gimmick. It's part of you, and that part of me is just not there. Bull. What? That's bull. It's there inside you, as he touches his chest. 
You may not have a quirk, but what defines you isn't this so-called quirk. What defines you is you. What defines you is how you take a hit. How you get back, how you accept it and get back up from it. Not how you keep lying down. But, but I don't want to get back up anymore. Oh, really? Is that how you really feel? Is it? No. I thought so. Let me help you. And in turn, you can help me. Really? Yes. What's your name, mister? Are you a hero? <laughs> I wouldn't call me a hero. But most people call me Wing Knight. Wing Knight? As Deku thinks, Well, that's a cool name. It's like, um... Okay. But... I have to talk with my mom about it. And... <laughs> allow me to help. As... He... Reverts back into his... Standard form in a bright... Yet in a bright white flash. <sighs> Deku sees a standard man. With black hair. Black leather jacket. Blue jeans. And boots. He goes, wow, that was... You get used to it. Trust me. You'll have something similar later on. R really? <laughs> Once we get you trained and polished up, that is. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> it sure will be. Now let's go. As he basically walks Izuku home. Izuku, at this point, is a little bit in trouble from his mother. Why? Simple. They had a bit of an falling out. When he was so upset and irritated by all the bullying and teasing, he lashed out, telling her to shut up and ran out the room, and out the house, and to the alley where he was found. So needless to say, Miss Inko is quite distraught. However, is very happy and somewhat nervous when a strange man she's never met before comes bringing Izuku home. And she says, um, thank you, but what's going... And he says... Miss Midoriya, I presume? I yes. If you wouldn't mind, may I please sit down with you and have a, disc and have a chat about young Midoriya's future? Um, I, I understand he probably did cause you some problems, but it's no, no ma'am. This is all good news. You see, I've been looking for someone like him for a while. And if you'd like, if he'd like, I could train him. Train him? Yes. I could train him to be something more than what he currently is, if you'd be willing to hear me out. Okay. And she heads inside and, well, gets some tea prepped as... <laughs> She pours them both some tea and sits down on the couch and gets ready to hear what this strange man has to say. Are you from some sort of agency? No, ma'am. Allow me to properly introduce myself. You see, a lot of people call me Derek, but most of my, pe most of my peers know me as... He brings out the 
he brings out a strange looking belt buckle that has the insignia of a bat on it. Wing Knight. Wing Knight? I'm sorry, but I've never heard of you. Are you some sort of upcoming hero? <laughs> I guess you could say that. I'm not exactly what you would call by the books. Are you a vigilante? No, no, no. You could call us special. Highly trained. You see, I'm like Izuku here. I'm quirkless. You're quirkless? Izuku states, yes. However, with this, as he stands up and, well, Kamen Rider, as lightning shoots from the, well, not so much lightning, but giant sparks of electricity shoot out from the buckle at, <laughs> right at his waist, causing a brand new belt to form. As he slots it in, Wing Knight. It begins to spin at high speeds until finally a bright white light flashes and woof, he's back in this form yet again. <laughs> With this suit, I'm able to <laughs> keep powered and be able to fend off most any threat. Whoa. So you're a hero, but a technology-based one? <laughs> Something like that. I guess you could say that this... <laughs> this buckle, as you would call it, is quite special. And has quite a few unique properties. If you'd like, I could teach young Izuku how to, well, utilize a similar device and become a proper hero, as he would like. I don't know. He wouldn't be starting off anytime soon. He's still quite young. I don't wish to make a child soldier. But, one of these did react with his presence. React. Each one of these things has a mind of its own, if you will. They choose its wielder. They don't go to just anyone. It has to be something that will properly bond with them. Something that will properly connect to them on a deep emotional level. Otherwise, it's just a chunk of metal. With nothing that can be done with it. Really? Exactly. So, I say again. Would you please allow me to train young Midoriya? Um, sure, but don't worry. I wouldn't be interfering with his schoolwork, nor would I be interfering with his home life. And nor would I be doing anything dangerous with him. All I'd be doing is helping him train his core body to be stronger, faster, and more stable. The rider suit will do the rest later on. Are you... are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Um... Izu? I want to be a hero, Mom. Okay, Izu. Alright, you, you have a deal. Thank you again, young... young lady. Young lady? Yes, you are a young lady, after all. 
and a very vibrant one at that. Oh, I'm married. I never said you weren't. All I'm saying is that you are a very young lady, and that your husband is a very lucky man. I hope you have a blessed day, and Izuku, I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Right. Okay. When will you be stopping by? <laughs> After school. <laughs> and so, he takes off. Oh boy, the fun that's about to begin. Pardon me one moment. Sorry about that, had to take care of a few things. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh yes. <clears throat> Quite a few years have gone by. Over a decade, in fact. Izuku has gotten stronger, and I do mean a lot stronger. He has been training non-stop with Wing Knight, improving his speed, accuracy, power, and maneuverability. <laughs> Overall... Wing Knight couldn't be more proud. However, there is one thing that Izuku is questioning most of all. Why hasn't he taught him how to fight with a sword? He fights with it, and isn't he getting something like his? Well... <laughs> And that's whenever Wing Knight finally tells him, No, Izuku. I trained you. But your abilities, your power, will be vastly different from mine, as all riders differ. You need to be less focused on getting right up into the fray. You are strong, durable, and a bit reckless. No, Izuku. But I think it is time that you did take up your mantle. My mantle? Yes, your mantle. <laughs> Izuku Midori, Izuku Midoriya. This will mark your beginning of his training as an official knight. And he hands him a bright green buckle. This is a lot heavier than I thought, and this is a lot different than yours. That's right. That advent is a lot different than mine. All we've done up till now has just been the basics. But now I'm going to truly show you... Well... No. Not now, but soon. Get used to holding that. Get used to carrying that. All right? Because it's yours. It's a part of you. Let it bond with you. And during that six months off, you have, correct? Yeah. During your six months off, I'll show you how to properly use it. Are you sure I'll be ready? Izuku. Yeah? You're the Bull Knight. You'll always be ready. Okay. And with that, he deep towers and gets on his motorcycle. And uh, don't worry, I'll make sure you have a nice graduation gift. As he takes off, and Izuku walks home. The next day, Izuku goes through school as normal. Everyone says, oh, well, it's 
teacher says his thing. Everyone hands up, throws up their hands saying, I want to be a hero. He tosses everything in the air, including saying Izuku wants to be, except not as many people laugh. Bakugo is still one of them because Bakugo a-hole. But Izuku doesn't take any grief with it. Like, people think, well, he is strong for a, per for a quirkless person. He is fast for a quirkless person. He is durable for a quirkless person. I mean, he might make the low rankings. Oh, little do they know. As he goes on about his business... The sludge villain appears later on. Oh boy. It tries to attack him, but he's able to evade, 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 counter, evade. Every time it lunges at him, he is able to dodge and maneuver around it. Almost as if he's developed a sixth sense of the battlefield. And right whenever it gets close to trying to get him... That was his plan, as he's crushed a tin can and throws it directly into its eye. Yeah, you little bastard! I've got to kill you now for sure! As all of a sudden you hear, Texas Smash! And see a nice fine green paste splattered along the wall. Yes. As All Might comes in... No need to fear, for I am here. As Izuku says, Wow, All Might, um, hi. Uh, I'm a big fan. Can I have your autograph? Sure thing, young Izuku. Izuku Midoriya. <laughs> All right, sure thing, young Midoriya. As he writes down his autograph and everything in his notebook, he says, Thank you, thank you very much. You're my second favorite hero. Second favorite? Oh, and who is your first favorite? Why, that's Wing Knight, of course. Wing... Wing Knight. I've never heard of Wing Knight. <laughs> well, I doubt you would. Anyways, I hope you have a good day, sir. As he walks off. As... All Might is quite puzzled by this. As he scoops up the sludge villain and goes like, Wing Knight, Wing Knight, Wing Knight. Who is Wingenite? As he puts him into the bottle and jumps off. Why does he jump off? Well, Izuku doesn't need confirmation he could be a hero. He's already been ego boosted since he was a child. And while All Might may be good, he hasn't been a strong and sturdy teacher like Wingenite has. And on the six months of training, they start at Dagobah Beach, where Izuku's looking around like, okay, what are we doing here? Simple. Here is where we're going to have some fun. Allow me to show you the real power you possess inside. The real power of a knight. And some of the perks of it as he holds up a mirror. And he says, touch it. Touch it? Yes, like this. And as soon as he, t Wing Knight, touches it, whoop, on the other side he goes. He was like, wait, what? As from the other side of the mirror, he could see him, like, waving him in, like, come on. Like, okay. And next thing you know... With a bit of faith, <laughs> what is that mirror? It's not the mirror. It's your advent. My advent? You mean... Yep. That right there is what's helping you get in and out. Think of it like a key. Wow. What is this place? My world. Your world? You have heroes in yours. We had knights in mine. Unfortunately for me, we failed. 
And now this place is a bit less stable. The battle ended long ago, but I'm still dangling around trying to find the proper Advent's owners. At least the ones that deserve it. I see. So, with you it was a 50-50 shot, but with intervention you were able to be a good kid. And more than worthy of this power. Thank you. Now, take it out. As he does. Now! Do you remember my line? Yeah. Then say it. Common Rider! As he says that, the light, the sparks of electricity fly as the belt forms around Izuku. And Wing Knight! Nothing happens. You're not a, you're not a bat. You're a bull. Say it proper. Oh, right. Um, Kamen Rider! Bull Knight! Boom! And just like that, in a blinding white flash, Izuku is transformed into the Bull Knight. As he looks into his hand, onto his side, he sees a gun. Why do I have a gun? That's your, that's your primary weapon. My, my weapon? But I'm not. Relax. That's what we're here for. You'll get used to it. But, but, calm down. <laughs> Trust me. The previous user of that was quite special. You will be too. Okay. Now, first let's focus on you getting a bit more... While you're good at fighting. I have... <laughs> you do remember how I've taught you, yes? Yeah. I remember. Good. Then you... This should be no problem for you then. As, essentially, <laughs> he gets him up, sets him up a target practice range. As, won't this damage the other world? Nope, not in the slightest. Perfect thing about being in my world, we're two different worlds. Connected through very thin means. <laughs> okay, now, let loose. As he readies and boom, 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 boom. He says, I, I can't hit it. He says, calm down. Breathe. You're not used to shooting. I understand that. However, this is your weapon. This is your body. It is not foreign to you. You know what you're doing. Take aim. Breathe in. Breathe out. And squeeze. Boom! Psh! The glass bottle shatters. Wow. Good. Now, time for the fun part. Fun part as basically Wing Knight takes up a battle stance. Yep, the fun part. What are you doing? Simple. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Oh no. I do not like the sound of that. Um, um, shouldn't we? Nope, I need to gauge how well you're skilled. As obviously, I'm going to cut through this part, and yes, Suzuku gets his ass hammered. And upon getting his ass hammered, he is, well, knocked out of his rider state. As he's given a bottle of water and some saltines. What are these for? Help you recover your strength and energy. While you take no re well, you take minimal physical damage while you're in your rider form from well, combat. 
you do still take damage to your stamina. Basically think every hit you take from while you're like that drains your physical energy. Instead of, you know, killing you. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yes, but it can be quite exhausting. If you aren't re if you really aren't careful, <laughs> you'll get really messed up. Because there is a threshold in which the suit cannot protect you. Oh, joy. Yep. And trying to push yourself beyond that will hurt you even more. Got it. As well. Soon after that... Well, I think it's about time I teach you about the vents. The vents? Yes. Haven't you ever wondered what these little things... What this little area on my belt is for? Um... Yeah, kinda, but I never really thought to ask. <laughs> he pulls out a card. It's storing playing cards? <laughs> you call them playing cards, but... <sighs> As he pulls down the hilt of his sword and exposes a, well, reader, he slams it down and it says, <clears throat> Sword Vent. And next thing you know, from the sky, a lance appears, spearing itself into the ground. And he goes, Excuse me? <laughs> the vents power you up, giving you access to weaponry and abilities you never had. You are a rain medium to long range fighter that is your specialty I, I see so do you know where your vent it, where your vent reader is and eh, no check your gun as he looks along the side of it and says wow it is nice as he sees looks over on the left hand side of the magazine and he goes poof as it pops open he goes whoa he pulls a card out of it shoot vent and upon equipping it and slamming down the mag boom these two big things pop along his back, and he goes, Ooh, and falls completely over. Ow, 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 ow. What are these things? As Wing Knight just laughs. laughs. Uh, you have a lot to learn yet, young Midoriya. As he picks him back up, and he says, Whatever you do, don't tense your shoulders. Why? We'll both die. Like what? <laughs> well, look at those things. They're kind of cannons, in case you couldn't tell. How do I get rid of them? Just say disable. Disable! And he goes back to normal. <laughs> Why would you let me do that? To see how much fun it would be. I, I could have killed us both. Eh, I've lived a good life. I haven't! Eh, then don't kill yourself. I, I, uh, uh, you're mean, teacher. <laughs> Relax, kid. I know you're not dumb enough to do that. Now, let's get some serious training done, and I'll teach you how to use all of those, okay? Right. As the six months pass by, and boy, oh boy, at the end, near end of them, He's given a present. What is it? T he goes, This will be the last time you see me, Izuku. What? You're a knight now. True and official. I graduate thee and dug thee, Sir Bull Knight. But, <laughs> relax, there is no formal ceremony. Here. He tosses him a set of keys. What are these? It's to your new ride. 
I've taught you how to ride a motorcycle, haven't I? Y yeah? Well, now you get one of your own. But, but teacher, relax. You may see me again one day. I doubt it, but you may. But, but, be a hero. Do what you can do. Make me proud. You're on your own now, kid. And he takes off. As he... Izuku just... Cries for the first time in a few years. For he has truly lost a great mentor. As we you have cut to wing night. As he powers down, you see him shedding a few tears. <laughs> You'll be good, kid. You don't need an old bastard like me hanging around you. You'll be good on your own. As Izuku's walking for, pulls up to the ceremony, or rather, the UA Academy on his motorcycle, he attracts quite the attention with his mur, 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 pulling up and parking it and locking it down and one's looking at him like wait he has a driver's license and yes yes he does a very special exception to the rule why because i say so damn it <laughs> as he has more of a permit than anything else Wow. A few of the guys are going like, lucky bastard, and a few of the girls are going, lucky. As he's wearing a leather jacket, some blue jeans, a bit of some biker, sh biker boots, some cut-off gloves, and a green patch of a bull's right along the back of the jacket as he's walking with a bit of a swagger confident and raring to go as Bakugo sees this and he goes oh yeah and what's you doing here shitty Deku you think you're gonna be anything as he doesn't pay attention to him and bumps him along with his shoulder walking straight on by as, hey, I'm talking to you, you asshole! As Bakugo's ready to let loose, and next thing you know, Izuku just materializes his blaster right out of thin air. <laughs> Bring it, Bakugo. You really want to go? I can blast you away right here. As everyone's going, wait, did he bring a gun? As a few security guards go to apprehend him, and he just goes, What? Can a guy use his quirk whenever being threatened by another student? As he lets go of it, it disappears. And Bakugo's going, no way you have a quirk. And Deku's going, I've had a quirk for a long time, Bakugo. I just didn't tell you because you ain't worth my time. You little bastard! As he gets real angry, ready to let loose, as the security guards kind of actually have to hold him back, as Izuku just smiles and walks away. It's like, eat shit and die, asshole, he thinks in his head. As he takes the written exam, and he gets fairly high marks. He's in fifth place. Easily. And then comes the explanation about the one, two, and three pointers. And right when he's about to get to the zero pointers, Ida interrupts trying to talk about them. And that's when he slams his hand down on the table. And Izuku just says, Hey, partner. Hmm? Standing up to Ida. And Izuku's fairly bigger, gotten a bit bigger in these last six months. Not only bulkier, but stronger. And he says, calm down. He was just getting to that, I guarantee. Weren't you, Teach? Yeah, yes I was. 
but both of you could sit down if you don't mind as, well, Izuku says, Fair point, my apologies for making a disturbance. And he sits down with a smile on his face. Putting on his shades, not giving a care. As, <laughs> oh yeah. They all get ready, they all get set. He's in there, he's popping his back, cracking his knuckles as he's getting ready in there. And oof, the tension's high. He can feel it, he is feeling. Like, I'm gonna make you proud, I'm gonna make you proud, teacher. I'm going to show you I can do this. I'll show you I'll be the best hero. As right whenever <laughs> present Mike is about to say three, everyone hears Common Rider Ball Knight. Huh? 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 And they see him transform, and out of the gates, he just launches. I mean, launches. Not even holding down as the gates are beginning to break apart and lower. He charges, breaking through them. As President Mike goes, Okay then. Well, what are y'all waiting for? There's no countdowns in a real battle. Go! As, well, they all head off. And while Ida is able to catch up and even outpace Izuku, it doesn't really matter as, well, thanks to the targeting system in his helmet, combined with his natural accuracy. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. One, two, three pointers. One, two, three, one pointers. Down. No problem. He gets up to a couple of two-pointers. Boom, 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 boom. It takes a couple of blasts minimum to put him down. And ooh boy, is it getting a bit rough in there. As he goes, all right, shoot, Lance. As he goes, uh, 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 when a three-pointer is beginning to look at him. Kaboom. Letting loose a Barrage of energy. Right out the cannons, ripping it apart. As Nezu and All Might are looking down at this, going, What the heck? Boom, boom. As he looks at the energy reserves on it, and he goes, Damn, need to trade out. And switches back to his pistol, going, Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Just letting loose. Not even stopping, not even slowing down. He keeps on it going all around the damn town. <laughs> I won't be stopped, I won't give in. I'm not gonna quit till the very damn end. <laughs> As he keeps racking up kill after kill after kill of these robots. And eventually, he says... He gets surrounded and he says, You know what? You guys have been doing a lot of surrounding lately. How do you... Let's see how you like it when you're outnumbered. Pardon me one moment. As he puts in a new card and it says, Magnu Giga. As all of a sudden, a large bull-like mech starts to form behind him. As everyone is shocked. Everyone is stunned as this thing just pops out and is crushing. And I do mean quite literally crushing the head of a three-pointer with its claw. As <laughs> he says, now we're going to have some fun. Shield lads! As he brings forth a big tower shield, smashing into his, smashing into another three-pointer, getting behind and starting blasting them in their weak points, as Magnu Giga just starts laying into them. Boom! 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 Even as the rockets from the three-pointers let loose and hit it, it does nothing. It barely even scratches it. As Deku says, Hey! I had hey, don't scratch the paint job! As Kaboom! 
the cannon from Magnu Giga fires again, blowing up even more three-pointers. As they see, well, there be a big one, big shadow looming over them. As he hears someone holler for help, he turns around and sees a fairly cute brown-haired girl looking very, very, very much in bad shape. And what does he do? He charges. He charges full speed as he tells me, as he says, Fire everything at that some birch! And what does he do? Magnu Giga responds, opening up its chest plate and letting loose a volley of rockets it had stored up in there, impacting this zero pointer, knocking it back a good solid 50 feet. Edge is about one step for it. <laughs> Allowing him more than enough time to get to her, throw off the rubble, and run out. <laughs> As he gets back to Magna Giga, he says, Hold on to him for a sec. And he tells her, Wait, what? What are you going to do? I'm going to have some fun. As he, go <laughs> As he goes out, shoot Lance shoot Lance, and brings forth the heavy rifle you see right over there next to the mech, and the twin cannons. So this is gonna cost a lot of energy, but it's gonna be so dang worth it. As he brings it down, aiming these things up, and he goes, Full power volley! Laying rip, a massive power of energy, just kaboom! Right into the Zero Pointer's head, blasting it apart like it was nothing. As he has to take a knee, going, <coughs> Oh man, that hurt. <clears throat> That was a lot more energy than I thought it would be. <clears throat> As Magnu Giga, well, disappears after setting Ochaka down on the ground. Ugh. He kind of limps over towards her going, You okay? Uh, yeah? Good. As he's forced to power down. As he's not used that amount of power, well, ever. And I think that's where I'll end it off at, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and hope y'all like it. Bye for now.